I'm Vani Monroe for MissFabulous.com, reporting exclusively for Z Trends. And today we're with William Calvert, designer of the Kalula Lily Bell collection. And he's going to show us around his studio and show us his fall collection. And if we're lucky, maybe even get to see the resort collection. Nice to meet you, William. Nice to meet you. How are you? Good. Are you this morning? Oh, you know. <laughs> I'm looking forward to seeing your collection. I saw it at um, fall. Presentation at uh, the Mercedes at Lincoln Center. Oh, great. Okay. Fashion Week. Yeah. Thank you for coming. Oh, beautiful collection. I want to find more about it and about you. Okay. First of all, of course, the obvious question: How did the name <laughs> Lily Bell come right. about? Yes. Um, uh, my partner Melanie Hart. Um, that's actually her daughter's name. Ah. And um, you know, it has special family uh, meaning. So. Um, you know, uh, Kalul is an Ro ancient Roman name that means small, precious one. And Lilibel is her Irish grandmother, so uh, there you go. Very interesting choice of name. Very, very catchy, I have to say. <laughs> okay, great. Now, I, I know that you started off um, in couture, right. working in Paris at Balmain and uh, right. Balenciaga. Beauchas and right. Balenciaga. Right. Okay. Um, how has that influenced what you're doing now? Um, I think when you start at that place, um, that level of detail, that level of construction, that level of fitting um, sort of n never goes away. Obviously you have to, you know, customize those, those aspects um, for the price point, but, you know, you want to deliver that level of product. So you're trying, always trying to cheat the system and deliver that level of product. Which is very hard to do. I, I probably was right down the block from where I worked at Nina Ricci. Oh, cool. So I, I understand Lovely. what you're talking about exactly. Right. Right. Yeah, it is, it is difficult to weigh that balance of perfectionism right. with price point. Yeah. But you seem to be doing a great job of it. Hopefully, thank you. Yes. <laughs> I um, know. The customers sort of decide that. That is true. I understand that the theme of the collection has been from desk to dinner. Right. Okay. Can what is that? that a sure. more when, when we started out, we wanted to make clothes, you know, definitely make a fashion line that um, that really addressed um, all the facets of a of a woman, and you know, for cool girls, sort of zero to fourteen. So we, when we started out, we wanted to um, have clothes that would take you basically from the office to out, and, you know, be it a cocktail, be it an event, um, you know, a little flirty, a little dressed up, but then also with the ability to be serious. And you know, and that's you know where it came from. And um, our um, comrade Kagi uh, had that uh, came out with that tagline, and you know, it stuck. And great, great tagline as well. Yes. yes. <laughs> now, now for fall, what were your inspirations in particular for the fall line, and how did that influence your fabric? Selections as well. Well, um, fall sort of started in many funny places. I mean, we started. Um, the initial conversation was, I think, punk rock, baroque, and then we somewhere ended up. We, that sort of morphed into sort of you know American modernism, um, and then crossed with punk rock, baroque, and so that you know it really just became this. Um, you know, how do you? Our generation, grew, you know, grew up looking at the power suits of the '80s. So how do you redefine that, and how do you not look backwards but actually look forwards to do that? And so how do you give someone, you know, sort of more confidence and more swagger, you know, in a fall collection? So you know, we have tropical suitings that you can wear all year, um, just because even though you know it snows in New York um, all winter, it uh, you know many of our customers you know are not in a snowy climate, so we really need to have multi-season fabric, and then you know and that's sort of the core of the collection, and then around that we you know always come up with a quirky print and um, you know mix in some silk because we also have a customer that buys sort of dressmaker dresses. Okay. And then you have to have some crazy things like our sequins that were, you know, the fabric was sequined first and then it was printed afterwards with sort of metallic paint, for lack of a better word. And, you know, that's a little bit where the punk rock baroque comes in. Okay. Um, and, you know, just also to, to sort of expand her aesthetic, but also to be true to the core customer. Now, now you mentioned about having the tropical wool suitings mm -hmm. for, um, for fall as well. Right. I, I, I always find that that's a bit of a struggle as well because we are currently designing for a 
large population live in the Sun Belt. Right. So trying to balance what is really fall with what is not fall, right. has that been a challenge for you as well? Um, no, we actually, you know, uh, I mean, sure, all those thick, gorgeous, tweedy, nubby fabrics show up and you get really excited, but, you know, that's not the bulk of your business, so... Um, they become a coat or a, you know, or a layering piece more than you know, an entire outfit. You know, maybe they're an entire outfit on the runway, but um, you know, in reality that's not always purchased that way. But you, know, you certainly have to show it and you have to s really merchandise your line so that it, it can address people living in the Northeast and people living you know, in the Sun Belt. Well, I would love for you to show me some of the key pieces. Okay, let's would do that. Be good? Yeah, yeah, cool. Yeah. Okay, so earlier we talked about your couture background in Paris right. and how it influenced your work here. Sure. Can you show us some of the details that make your garments more special because of that background? Okay, sure. Um, let's start with this uh, holiday um, cocktail dress. And this, you know, has, the stra has sort of a strapless um, dress attached to a nude, not a nude, excuse me, an illusion uh, t-shirt. So that sort of gives you coverage without. Okay. But then also, you know, and What's also nice, it has this sort of pop lining that ties it back to the rest of the collection, right? And then this one, to, to get that volume, you need to have um, lots of tool under there, right? So, you know, that's put on one tier at a time, shirt individually, you know, to give you all that layering. Let's go back to this green dress here. The, you know, this dress with this sort of mock wrap detail and the high, you know, it's a regular shift dress, but because of the way this is draped, this is flattering on someone with a small bust or with a large bust. And then you get a little zing with the metal zipper on the back. You know, and then we have the silky lining so that you know it feels good against your body, which is important, right? Very important, yeah. yes. Right? And you know, and then you know that piece can be worn back to say a piece like this. So then you have, you know, that same silky lining that's the self of this dress. Right? So it all works back together. As well as these contrasts. Right. And then you have the sort of Insect tuxedo, details, right? right? Yeah. And this dress, this jacket actually has four fronts. Right? And then you can sort of rig them all to one side like this, or fold them each individually like this, so you get sort of tiers. Right? So very definitely engineered garments. Absolutely. Yes. Absolutely. And, you know, hopefully for us, that engineering and that attention to detail is what makes it special. You know, this is a great little fitted blazer, but the, the waist section is all on the bias, so it's gentle across the waist, and it's convert fully convertible, so you can close it all the way up if you'd like. And there seems to be a lot of, uh, of um, attention to the construction and the seaming as far as making it fit very well. Yes. We spend, um, you know, I think that when a customer walks up to a rack, the first thing they see is the color or the fabric, and then, you know, the piece they're looking at. But then to have it actually fit on their body and flatter their body and sort of make them, you know, five inches taller, five years younger, and five pounds thinner, um, you know, uh, we do that in the fitting process. So we, w even though it's a, unless it, you know, not a designer price garment, we will take the time to fit it again and again and again, so it hangs just so on everybody. We're going to look at the holiday collection now. Right. Get a sneak peek at it. Now, right. when will this hit be hitting the stores? This will go into the stores in October. Can you show us some of the key pieces from the holiday well, sort collection? Of key pieces for excitement, probably. You know, this is a, our sequin blazer. It's lower in the front and higher in the back. It's a very flattering line on everybody. And now, is this the, the sequin detail that you were talking about right. earlier? These, this fabric is sequined first and then printed on top, which is kind of a um, labor-intensive process, but, you know, they made it work. And this is a great strong shoulder and, you know, a little nipped-in waist, so it's quite flattering on everybody. You know? I love it has that beautiful wet look to it. Thank you, yes. Yeah. And then, you know, that can come back. Oops. That can come back to your cute little pencil skirt, you know, with a dropped, um, you know, sort of a yoke detail, which we found very flattering on everybody. Um, for a little, you know, like, fun in the sun, this is um, our sequin legging that keeps, you know, and we reinvent it each season, but, you know, this is a popular thing, you know. Um, just for sort of pure and pretty, this is a silk velvet, uh, you know, mock wrap dress, and then it, all on the bias, and then it has the metal zipper on the back all the way down. 
And the grosgrain right, belt. And the grosgrain belt and grosgrain ties at the shoulders. Now we, you know, we like we don't like to stitch the belt down because it looks kind of crushed. So we tack it in a few places so it hangs nicely. But then on the body, it you know sucks in the waist. And uh, the right, and then the again, contrast again. The contrast lining so that it ties back to everybody here. Right. Wow. You know, and then let's see. This is another cool. This is kaleidoscopic uh, sequins on the bottom here. So they really, you know, they pick up every color from the collection. It's great. Right. I talked about the cold and that warm colorway. So this is the um, same print that we saw before, but in the warm colorway. It's interesting how different it reads right? in, the, in the red coloration. Yeah. So that it's almost as if they're two different prints, but when you look closely, they are the same. Yeah, that's identical. It's just a different color. You know, so we like to make sort of a story so that it looks like a, you know, a little wardrobe. So she can take a few pieces. This is our little strapless velvet gown, you know, okay. And, um, you know, she can take a few pieces and mix and match them together, you know. And, and then, one uh, of the things I love is all the inside details that are going on in your garments. Yeah. I'm, I, I'm a sucker for that as well. I, I tend to buy jackets that maybe nobody sees the lining, but. Sure, but you know, you gotta have that. It's a little gift. You know, because you open up your dress and it, you know, makes you feel more excited because, you know, there's that level of detail in there. You know, a little bit more couture where you get the crazy asymmetrical dress. But this is interesting because it looks, you know, it looks like a lot of dress, but then it's lined in jersey, so it's really like wearing a bathing suit. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. That, that must feel awesome on. <laughs> yeah. And it's so light. Right. You know, of course, it's a holiday collection, so we have our great tuxedo pant with a stripe down the side and the satin waistband. Beautiful. You know, and that can go back to you know, a little tuxedo type blouse with a bib detail. No, I let, let me see that piece again. Sure. The sleeve detail on this is brilliant. Thanks. That is going to be so flattering. Can you tell me, when you think of who the Kalula Lilabelle woman is, what, does, what comes to mind for you? Um, uh, sexy, sophisticated, and a little naughty. And a little naughty. <laughs> you know. Very, very interesting. <laughs> I think that's it. That could cover yeah, yeah, a sure. spectrum of people. Exactly. Yes, you know, definitely. that is the plan. You know, I mean, I think that everyone wants to feel stronger and more beautiful. But you know, you know, fashion's about seduction. So if you're not addressing that, you know, why are we here? Yeah. Well said. Thank you. Well, thank you very, very much for showing us your collection. Thank you. Thanks for coming. We appreciate it. Yeah, and absolutely. And we're looking forward to seeing your spring collection in the fall as well. There we go. Okay. Thanks See so much. See you soon. All right. Thanks. Take care.